I'm tired of just seeing skinny trans men who fit perfectly into their binders. Perfectly flat, no lumps and bumps. What everyone wants. That's just not realistic for everyone, and that's perfectly fine. Your chest does not define you. What do you mean, what everyone wants? No one wants to see that. This video screams, I identify as trans because I saw it online. I'm gonna transition to be a part of a community. And that's not healthy. It's not healthy to transition for other people. It has to be for you. It should only be about alleviating gender dysphoria. Your chest definitely defines you. You have breasts because you're a woman. So, and wearing a binder that's too small won't change that. Speaking of unhealthy, it's really unhealthy to wear binders that are too small. It's already uncomfortable when it does fit, so please find binders in your size, if you have to wear them. I shoot my shot by looking like this and breathing. If you can't take it from there, that's on you. Why, why do these people look like this? I'm assuming this is a trans man who's wearing a dress showing off his big titties has, has a full-size beard and all. I don't get it. Why go on testosterone in the first place? If you're already a woman and you want to wear dresses and, and show off your big titties, why would you identify as a man? No one can convince me that this person transitioned due to gender dysphoria. Oh, he was dysphoric about his voice and he wanted a beard, but he wasn't dysphoric about his breasts. No, that's not how it works. I wish it worked like that because then I wouldn't need to get surgery. Well, surgeries I got too. What people have to remember is gender dysphoria is not a choice. Gender dysphoria is a mental disorder. Dealing with a mental disorder is not a choice. If a woman deals with gender dysphoria, she feels dysphoric about her secondary sex characteristics. The same thing applies to men, of course. All real transsexual men feel incredibly dysphoric about their breasts. I felt the most dysphoric about my breasts. Every single day when I took a shower, I had to look up at the ceiling because I couldn't, I, I, I felt so claustrophobic. I felt pain, basically. Emotional pain and getting top surgery, getting my breasts removed, one of the best days of my life. And I could never in a million years, I couldn't even look at my breasts when I was alone. I could never post a video on TikTok where I'm showing them off. It is disgusting. And most importantly, it doesn't make any sense. How can you be a trans guy if you're comfortable showing your breasts on camera and posting it online? Why can't you just be a woman then? They're choosing to be trans and as a trans person, I'm offended. They're culturally appropriating my mental disorder and I'm not here for it. Mostly because they're the face of the trans community. They're apparently representing people like me. Blair White, Bug Angel. But are they? To state the obvious, there's something about fake trans people making themselves look as ugly as possible. Why is that a thing? It's not only fake trans people who do this. It's trendy to try to look as ugly as possible and I think it's weird. Appreciating real trans bodies, binderless edition. How would you know? You're literally a woman, a curvy woman, comfortable looking like such. How's that real trans? I think what she's saying is she's naturally trans. She doesn't wear binders, she's not on testosterone. This is a real trans body, a real body. If you don't want to go through a medical transition, you're not trans, you're just a regular person. Good for you for embracing your body as a woman. I'm glad you're not wearing a binder, it's unhealthy and you don't need it. Trans mask here, love my chest, hate the social dysphoria. Trans men can't love their breasts. Do I even need to elaborate? I don't think so. But it's interesting that you claim that you hate social dysphoria. So what you're saying is you're uncomfortable with being perceived as a woman in society, in social situations. Well, it must mean you're trans. Or is it somewhat normal for women to feel this way? Let me put it this way. If you're a woman, a biological female, and you love your breasts, well, it means you're a woman and not a trans man, and therefore you don't need to transition. Lucky you, I'm jealous. I'm not just a guy with boobs, I also have terrible rhythm. Hashtag squishy. Listen, you're not a man with boobs. You're a woman with a mustache with boobs. You're not a man with squishy pecs. Those are breasts that only women can have. I can't with this community. I'm so glad I'm not a part of it. It's true, I'm not. I'm the devil. I'm the enemy. Just like Blair White and Bug Angel. As I said earlier, I was not comfortable looking at my own body for many years. And do you think I was comfortable touching them, poking them for fun? No.
Do you think that's the case for other trans guys, like the real ones? That's why we transitioned. We're not living our lives as regular women. These people are doing this, are showing themselves looking like this to the world because they want to change our views about gender. They want to abolish gender and sex, make everything fluid and on a spectrum. They are aware of what they're doing. They know that what they're doing is weird. And if it's upsetting you that they're in your face saying all these things 24 seven, please remember, they're only doing this because they know they're lying. They know as much as we do that they're full of caca. They know as much as we do that there are only two genders. They know the grass is green, but they want to convince you that the grass is purple. So they have to be up in your face 24 seven, making thousands of videos saying the grass is purple, the grass is purple. Woke activists in general are super aggressive. If you're right about something and you have the truth on your side, you don't need to be aggressive. You don't need to scream all the time. This is how reality is. This is how reality is. So when these trans guys, you know, women on testosterone who fake being trans, they're like, I can't even do it. I have nothing. <laughs> look at me. I'm a man with boobs. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. It's because they know that what they're saying is bullshit. To everyone watching, frustrated, tired of these activists, just remember to smile, laugh at them and say, oh, you can keep saying this, honey, but the truth is still not on your side. I mean, we should have more fun with these people. They already look like clowns, so shouldn't we feel entertained instead of feeling angry and frustrated? Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support me and my work, my PayPal is in the description down below. You can also support me through locals.com or by becoming a member of this channel. I love you all and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace out.